Created by Anthony Bezos in Australia. A while ago, before I was sick and losing my voice and just having, well, choice paralysis, I learnt about these very long fences inland in Australia. Not surprisingly, they were used to keep away animals from farmlands, you know, livestock and crops. So, can you guess which is the longest fence? Well, you read the title. The dingo fence was constructed from 1880 to 1885. It was designed to keep the dingoes and feral dogs away from livestock and, of course, away from crops. So, why did I say this fence is great? Let me rephrase that. It's actually the longest fence on Earth, stretching at... Uh, let's see here... Um, ah, okay. Stretching at 5,614 kilometers, or at least over 5,600 kilometers. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, let me just convert this to American. That's about 3,488 miles. That's over the length of one side of the USA to the other side. It is longer than going from Los Angeles to New York. From what I gathered... <coughs> Using a wired pattern, parts of the fence, in particular South Australia, have electric fences, some sections have fluorescent lights that light up during the night, and of course gates connecting major roads, farms, and certain crossings. Was the dingo fence successful? Uh, did the fence reduce the amount of dingoes from entering the southeast part of Australia? Yes. Did the fence cause a huge change in the ecosystem? Yes. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. That question should be answered by the people who make a living in the area. To this day, the fence is still maintained by repairing the fence, laying poison bait along the fence, and destroying any dingoes or dogs in the vicinity of the fences. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe, it brings a smile to my face. If I missed out something important about the topic, or you got an idea for the next history video, please put it down in the comment section below. Anyway, see you mates next time on the channel. And if you're wondering why it's taken so long to make a video, well, choice paralysis really, and just going in between being sick and losing my voice. <laughs>